Welcome to the Drill Stack app. This is uh, ideal for an Android 7 inch or 8 inch screen. So once you're online and create your uh, event, upload your roster, select your drills, you're able to sync your app uh, to your events. And you'll get a list of all your events uh, down to your tablet here. Uh, so we're going to go into the football March 2017 event. So once I'm in here, you're able to see a, uh, two different views, the roster view and the drills view. The roster view, if you look at that number 22 uh, next to the roster up top, uh, that represents the number of athletes in your roster. Uh, then you could go down. If you scroll through, you see your roster. And then the number to the right of the athlete uh, represents the number of drills remaining for that athlete. So, for example, here uh, we're looking at Chase. He has one drill remaining. Uh, if we select uh, show remaining, it'll narrow it down to which one it is. So in this case, it's the bench press. Um, in the drills view, you're able to see the drills on the left-hand side that you've selected. Again, these are completely customizable. So if yours are different than this, uh, you're able to do that. Um, the number to the right of the drill represents the number of athletes remaining to do that drill. So in the 40-yard dash, 13 out of the 22 athletes are remaining. So if you want to see who they are, if you look at the right-hand side up here, we'll select show remaining, and it'll narrow it down to those athletes. Um, if you show all, you'll be able to see how many attempts each athlete has done and what this, the uh, latest save time for that athlete is. So uh, an example of Ty here, he has done uh, the 43 times. Uh, we selected the 4-6 as the, as, the, as the save time, uh, that's his best time. But you're able to also select, if you look down at the bottom, if you want to take the average of those three runs, you're able to do so um, just by selecting average. Um, or if you want to uh, you know, do a total, which you would do in that kind of lifting type of thing, you can do that as well. So let's, uh, let's go on to the next athlete here and it's time uh, show some of the uh, built-in features with the stopwatch. So let's run Ben. So all you have to do is uh, put Ben's at the starting line, hit the start button, he runs, running through the 40, stop, 462. Let's say we're going to save that. We just hit save, and then move on to uh, Riley. So Riley's up. Same thing, just really quickly and efficiently. You can have uh, several coaches at the starting line. It doesn't matter how many uh, coaches are logged in. They can each have a, a login to the app as long as uh, you give them the, the password to the event, and they're able to test the athletes. So you can see how quickly we're able to uh, run through these. Uh, same thing in the weight room. So let's say we're in the weight room, and we're going to do Patrick, and he squats, let's say, 350. We'll save that and then move on to Max. And let's say he does 365. We'll save that. You can quickly go through and enter uh, all the attempts for the athletes. Um, if you're going to do a second attempt, uh, you can you can just pull that up. Um, if you're going to uh, just narrow down to see who's left, you can do that as well, uh, just by showing the remaining. Again, a lot of great features built in. Uh, the stopwatch is one of them. The other one that we like a lot as well is the, uh, the built-in calculator for vertical jump. So all you would have to do here is do the reach. So for example, here in Brock, we put in a reach of seven, one and a half inches. And then his touch, uh, we put in nine, four, which gave us a standing vertical of 26 and a half. That was calculated automatically after just inputting the reach and the touch. Again, saving coaches a lot of time and effort in, in doing that math and uh, you know, eliminating possible errors uh, if you're in a hurry. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, please go to drillstack.com. We also have our YouTube channel with more videos. Again, thanks for watching.